Hey there, welcome back to the channel. Today we're diving into the topic many home sellers are facing right now here, at least here in Connecticut. How do you choose between multiple offers on your home? So let's get into it. All right, now picture this. You've put your house on the market and boom, we've got multiple offers rolling in and you're totally overwhelmed. And it certainly can be exciting, but it's also a crucial decision to make. So let's break it down. Step one, gather all those offers, sit down with your favorite cup of brew and review each one carefully. And no, I'm not talking about beer. Get some coffee, you're gonna need it. Now, get your pen out and paper because it's time to compare these. Take note of important factors like the offered price, the financing terms, the contingencies, and all of those important closing dates. Now, a checklist will be your best friend through this process. Now, let's talk about price. Now, it's tempting to go for the highest offer, but remember, consider financing as well. Compare things like pre-approval letters, down payment amounts, and any contingencies tied to those financing terms. Now, speaking of contingencies, definitely don't overlook these. Look out for home inspection contingencies, appraisal clauses, or even contingencies tied to the buyer's current home sale. Now, that's a big one. Now, they can certainly play a significant role in your decision-making process. And lastly, evaluate those proposed closing dates. Think about your own timeline and the urgency of your own move. The right timing can make a big difference. Now, choosing between multiple orders can be a bit overwhelming, but if you follow those helpful tips, you'll find the perfect match for your home. And remember, it's about weighing the options and finding the offer that aligns with your goals. Thanks for joining us today. And don't forget to hit that like button and please subscribe to the channel for more helpful content. And as always, happy home selling.